Let your sneakers tell you the story of the 1980s, a decade where sneaker culture exploded from a niche hobby into a mainstream phenomenon. The birth of sneaker culture. The 1980s were a time of bold fashion, groundbreaking music and of course the rise of sneaker culture. As hip hop emerged from the streets of New York, it brought with it a new style of dress, one that featured sneakers as the centerpiece. For example, the Adidas superstars, also known as the Shell Toes, were actually among the first to be embraced by hip-hop artists and of course their fans as always. But it wasn't just about the shoes, it was more about the statement that they made. Sneakers and hip-hop, a love story. The relationship between sneakers and hip-hop was mutual, as the genre grew, so did the popularity of certain sneakers, turning them into desired items. Run DMC's My Adidas wasn't actually just a song, it was an anthem that highlighted the deep connection between the group and of course their favorite sneakers, leading to an unusual and unexpected endorsement deal with Adidas. This partnership marked a turning point, showing the world that sneakers had actually the power to cross cultural boundaries and become symbols of success, power and identity. The sneakers of the 80s The 80s saw the rise of many, many, many iconic sneakers. For example, the Reebok Classic, the Adidas Continental 80 and the Nike Air Max 1s were just a few that defined that era. Each had its own story, its own style and its own place in the sneakers all of fame. Let me just tell you the stories of the sneakers that I just talked about. The Reebok Classic first hit the scene in 1986, marking a leaving from the performance focused design of the time to prioritize casual wear and everyday comfort. Originally crafted as running shoes, the Classic was designed with a smooth and timeless appeal that surpassed its athletic origin. Its introduction was a witness to Reebok's innovative spirit, blending sportswear functionality with streetwear design. The shoe's popularity is a tribute to its versatile design, which has seen numerous re-releases and collaborations, celebrating its rich story and timeless appeal. Then, in the late 1980s, Adidas introduced the Continental, a tennis shoe that went against the flashy trends of the era with its understated elegance. Its clean and simple design, characterized by a crisp white upper, and a subtle red stripe was a masterclass. Despite its initial low profile, the Continental 80 resurfaced in 2018 as a part of Adidas Young series, capturing the hearts of the sneakers enthusiasts again. Its re-release highlighted the sneakers timeless design and of course its ability to cut through the noise of more maximalist trends, reaffirming its status as a staple of minimalist. And lastly, the Nike Air Max 1 released in 1987, a revolutionary sneaker that changed the game with its visible air cushioned sole. Designed by Tinker Hatfield, the Nike Air Max 1 was inspired by the Pompidou Center in Paris, whose inside out design encouraged Hatfield to expose the air unit, a decision that was as controversial as it was innovative. The Air Max 1 was not just Nike's first sneakers to reveal the air cushioned sole, but also a bold statement in sneaker design. Its release marked an important moment in Nike's history, laying the groundwork for a series of Air Max sneakers that would continue to push the boundary of design and technology. High tops with the lasers loose, paired with baggy pants or tracksuits, became the look of the decade. The influence of sneaker culture. Sneaker culture in the 80s wasn't confined to hip-hop. It spread across genres, influencing skaters, punks and anyone who identified with the counter-culture movement. Sneakers became a way to express individuality and belonging all at once. This era also saw the beginning of sneakers collecting, with limited editions and collaboration. The concept of sneakerheads was born and it is alive nowadays, turning sneakers into not just footwear of course, but collectible art. The legacy continues. The 1980s may have been the golden age of sneaker cultures, but its influence didn't stop there. Today, sneakers continue to be at the forefront of fashion, music and culture, 
the 80s serving as the foundation for modern sneaker culture. From the streets of the Bronx to the runways of Paris, sneakers have come a long way. They are more than just truth, they're a statement, a piece of history and of course a witness to the enduring power of self-expression. The 80s was a decade that changed the game, setting the stage for everything that sneakers have become today. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and of course comment down below what I can improve in my channel.